Of course, it's finished at the Al Yunub Stadium between Japan and Croatia. And it's finished. Japan won. Croatia won. And Croatia win 3 1 on penalties. And, uh, and yeah, to be honest, the game was decent, I would say. And um, the first half was all right. I think Japan, you know, they looked the better team well, in the like minute I watched. But looking at the first half highlights, Japan looked decent. And obviously, Japan did score right before half time as the Celtics man, Dyson Marder, scored to give Japan the lead. And uh, I, I said to Cody on stream, I'm telling you now, Croatia are in silo, don't give up. They will fight back and they will score. And that's what Croatia did. Some good football. Um, well, it was um, Juranovic who passed it to... Oh, I don't know who it was. I think it was either Juranovic or Kovacic who swung it into the box. And, of course, my man, Ivan Perisic, heading it home to make it Japan 1, Croatia 1. And to be fair, I think it was kind of deserved because Croatia looks looks like more scoring than Japan. Both teams tried to find um, an equaliser, but the game did go a bit boring. Um, I was very was full time, extra time. I'm probably until like the last probably stoppage time of extra time. It's where both teams really went for it, but 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 yeah. And obviously, then they went to penalties and um and uh, just got to say big up to Dominic um Livakovic, um who um scored. Well, he didn't score well. He saved three out of four penalties. And to be fair, Japan um they were quite poor penalties. I think they were a bit too obvious. For Livakovic to go, but obviously, um, Osana was the only Japan player who scored, and for Croatia, it was um, well, Mario Mario Pasalic scored the winning penalty, um, Nikola Vlasic scored, and someone else scored, but um, but I don't know what um Lavaggio was doing. It just just did a one step run up. It's a stupid penalty. Don't know why he did that. Um. But yeah, at the end of the day, it didn't really matter because Croatia won. But to be fair, I think Japan can be proud of themselves, you know, to get out of the group, to get above Germany. They can be proud of themselves. Um, but yeah, obviously Japan, if they would have won the penalty shootout, it would have been it would have been the first time in their history that they would have qualified for the quarterfinals. But obviously Croatia, they will play the winner of the other game tonight, which is um, Brazil versus South Korea. But yeah, anyway, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go now, so yeah, adios!